Hi, and welcome to the Ruston Church of Christ Bible Study. We're so grateful that you are joining with us today. Uh, we're going to continue a message that we've been talking about Jesus and His uniqueness as a man on the earth. We've been looking at passages and, and topics that there was no man like Jesus. And today we're going to talk about that there was no man that loved like Jesus. In our world that we live in, it seems like if there's one thing that's missing, it's love. Uh, we have people screaming at one another. We've got political parties at each other's throats. We have different racial tensions that people are, are, are at one another. We've got we've already said political parties, but we've got sports teams that seem to drive people apart. People are, are willing to fight over other people playing a game. This world is seems to be exhibiting more and more hatred and, and more and more distaste for one another. And I think if we would adopt this idea or adopt the attitudes and the behaviors of loving one another, we would make a drastic, radical impact in the world if we would love like Jesus. So I'd really just like to share with you a few aspects of Jesus' love that I think the reason that we don't make the impact that we sometimes should make is because we fall short of loving people the way that Jesus loved people. And I think... And when we look at one of the first things that Jesus' love was sacrificial. You know, Jesus really sacrificed. You know, there's sometimes that we may do things for other people that are nice, that are kind, that are loving. But so often we stop short of loving people to the point of it's a real sacrifice. We really go out of our way. We really dive into our checkbook or we really dive into our time for another person. And when we see what Jesus did, he left the throne room of heaven. He was sitting on a throne and he came down. He was born. He didn't even have a bed to lay in. He was placed in a manger. He, he was born where the animals were born. Uh, he was raised in, in Nazareth where uh, no good thing comes from Nazareth, as was the idea at that time. And he came to be the Savior of the world. He was beaten. He was crucified for us. So many times in our lives, we stop short when it starts to get painful. We're willing to do for others as long as it doesn't really hurt us too poorly, but Jesus' love was sacrificial. You know, one of the other things about Jesus' love was that Jesus' love was obvious to everyone that was around him. You know, you, you looked at what Jesus was doing throughout the days. Um, he was spending from sun up to sundown healing. He was walking out of his way to heal and, and to have conversations with people. He, he was feeding thousands. It was obvious that Jesus cared about the people that were around him. You know, in John chapter 13 and 35, Jesus says that when we act that way, that when we show love for one another and show love the way that he did, it's going to be obvious that we are his disciples. They will know that you are my disciples by your love one for another. You know, sometimes it's really easy for us to love the people that are around us and, and, and love uh, for our family or our love for our close friends. Isn't that hard to conjure up, to, to, to do these good acts towards someone that we care for? You know what's real love? Real love is to do things for someone else when we don't want to. To, to go out of our way and to do something good and to sacrifice even when the other person doesn't deserve it. That's obvious love. Another aspect of Jesus' love that we see is that Jesus' love uh, was a committed love. In John chapter 13 and verse 1, we have that scene of Jesus with, the, with his apostles, and he's in the upper room the night that they're observing the Passover, and he's about to be, uh, he's about to be betrayed. Knowing that he's going to be betrayed, knowing that all of his disciples are going to run off and leave him and forsake him and curse him, Jesus gets down and washes his feet. And he said, I did this to show you what you ought to do and because he loved them. Jesus was committed to self-sacrificing to produce the highest good for the one that he loved. That's what it means to love, to do the things that produce the highest good for someone else. You know, Jesus loved the people that are around him. Jesus loved even his enemies. Jesus loved his disciples even when they were going to leave him. You know, I think if we were to live lives of love in a way that was so sacrificial that people recognize that we were willing to deprive ourselves to help someone else, that it would be obvious how committed we are to loving other people. We would be reflecting the love 
of Jesus Christ. I think so often in our lives, we reduce the impact of the gospel message because we reduce our, our, our standard for love to something below what Jesus Christ taught us. I would challenge you this week and moving on in your life to try to love people in a way that it is obvious that you're committed to them by the sacrifice that you make on their behalf. I hope this was was helpful to you. I hope it encouraged you to step your life up to a higher standard, to the standard that is Jesus Christ. So we're trying to do here at the Rustin Church of Christ. We'd love to have you join us here, but if you're away from us, if you're one that cannot join us physically, we would love for you to please give us a like or, or share this video or send a, uh, maybe subscribe to our channel so that you can get updates whenever we're putting out other publications. We really appreciate your interaction. We really appreciate you trying to become more like Christ. Thank you.